What's the most you ever paid for dessert? $5, $10, $20? I spent $390 once. Best decision I ever made in my life. You gotta understand, I was 24 years old. Me and my girl were expecting our first kid. We were scrapped for cash. I was working part-time loading trucks in Brooklyn. And after work, I would go play cards and underground poker games for extra money. So clearly I had my life in order. <laughs> Despite this, my dad decided to bestow some wisdom on me. He said, gas store, if you wanna be a good husband and a good father, it's real simple. You gotta do three things, heavy, high, and far. Some's heavy, you pick it up. Some's high, you reach for it. And if some's far, you go get it. I was excited. My wife was pregnant, figured she's gonna have cravings. I'm gonna get a chance to put this into action. <laughs> Unfortunately, she only had one craving. Applebee's maple butter blondie. <laughs> for those of you that haven't had it, it's magical. Scoop of vanilla ice cream on top of a warm blondie, walnut chunks, caramel, and maple butter syrup sprinkled on top is fantastic. If you're over the age of 30 and you haven't had one, I have to question your life choices. <laughs> Problem was, I worked evenings loading the trucks. I would get out 9, 30, 10 o'clock most days. All the Applebee's in Brooklyn closed at 10, kitchen closed at 9, 30. So if my wife had this craving, I couldn't do anything about it until the weekends. All her friends knew about this too. So when the new Applebee's opened in Fresh Meadows, Queens, and they closed at 11 o'clock, I got seven text messages from her friends. <laughs> all telling me, Gastor, next time she wants this, you can make it happen. I was armed with power now. Excited, because the next week I had my chance. I got a text message as soon as I walk out the building for work, I see it on my phone. Gastor, I had a rough day. But you know what can make it better? <laughs> Walnut chunks and maple butter syrup. I went into action. I got on my phone, I called the Applebee's in Fresh Meadows. Hi, this is Stephanie from Applebee's. Hi, Stephanie, my name is Gastro Almonte and I mean business. <laughs> I need a maple butter blondie, I'm gonna be there in 15 minutes. She said, cool, she hung up the phone. Applebee's is 20 minutes away, so needless to say, my driving was inspired. <laughs> Show up to the Applebee's, she has my maple butter blondie ready. Maple butter blondie is $5.99. New York tax is a ripoff, but it's $6.53. I give her $10 even to cover the tip, I'm out the door. I'm inside the car, I'm looking at the time, I'm like, yo, this is easy. Now I'm on a Jackie Robinson Parkway in Brooklyn. I'm doing 80 on the 45. I get pulled over by the cops. Cop comes out the car, he comes over. What's the emergency, man? What's going on? I'm like, man, my wife had a craving. She's pregnant. I'm trying to make dreams come true. <laughs> and he's like, I hear you, man. Well, license and registration goes to the car, comes back, gives me a ticket. And he's like, listen, man, you see all those guys on the side over there? They're doing construction work. They're gonna shut down this highway in a half hour. You're making it hard for them to get ready. And more importantly, you're putting your own life in danger. And gives me a $110 ticket and tells me to have a good night, sir. As if those two things go together. <laughs> but whatever, I get to the house open the door and I give Gabby the maple butter blondie and she's ecstatic, she gives me a huge hug, she kisses me on the cheek. She's like, Gastor, honey, you have a good night at poker, which I've never heard before. <laughs> Feeling great, I get to the car, I pull off. Five minutes into the ride to the card game, I get a call, Gabby's hysterical on the phone, she's crying, I'm like, baby, what's happening? Gastor, I put the blondie in the microwave to warm it up. I thought I hit 30 seconds, I hit three minutes. It's the pregnancy brain, it burnt the blondie. I don't know what pregnancy brain is, but it seems like a big deal. <laughs> now I got a decision to make. Should I go play cards? Or should I be a good husband, heavy, high, and far? I go into action. <laughs> it's 10.30 now. I call up the Applebee's at Fresh Meadows. Stephanie, you might remember me. My name is Gastro Armonte. 
I still mean business. How can I help you? Stephanie, I need another maple butter blondie. She's like, Gas, I'm sorry, the kitchen's already closed, you can still come in for drinks. I'm like, no, Stephanie, you don't understand. I'm trying to make dreams happen here. I gave you $10 to cover the maple butter blondie tax and tip. I will give you that $10 and an additional $20 if you could get me another maple butter blondie. She said, Gaston, I'm going to make it happen. I said, Stephanie, you a team player. I get in the car. I'm driving off. I'm doing 80 on the 45 on the Jackie Robinson. I get pulled over a second time. I see the cop come out the car. It's the same cop. First time, he was courteous, you know? He asked me what was the emergency. This time, he was angry. Before I could even say anything, he's like, license and registration. Gives me my second $110 ticket and tells me to have a good night, sir. I get to the Applebee's. It's 11.10. They closed. I call inside. I'm like, yo, what's going on? They're like, sorry, we're closed, sir. I'm like, Stephanie. The maple butter blondie's already done. I will give you an additional $20 if you could just walk this out the door, Stephanie. She said, I got you. I get back in my car, drive on a Jackie Robinson. I'm doing 80 on the 45 for the third time. And for the third time, the cop pulls me over. And it's the same cop. He looks at me and he's like, is this really happening? He's not even asking me. He's asking God because he's questioning himself. License and registration goes, gives me my third ticket, comes back to the car, hands me the ticket. And I start to shake, because everything's gone wrong. And he's like, what's going on, man? I was like, I'm not lying to you, boss. I've been trying to get this dessert <laughs> to my wife. She's having a baby. This is the first time that she's had cravings, and I can make it happen. He's like, what do you got there? A maple butter blondie. <laughs> and he's like, that's the one with the walnut chunks? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man. And he's like, you got to get that home. The vanilla ice cream's going to melt. I'm like, I know, but I can't get through here. You keep giving me tickets. And he's like, that ain't even the problem. The highway's closed. He started construction. So I'm like, damn, I don't know what I'm going to do. And he's like, I got you, boss. He gets in his car, turns on the sirens, and escorts me through the construction site. Rolls down his window when we get to the end of the highway, looks at me, shouts out through his car window. Hey, boss, you be safe out there and you have a good night, sir. Let's me drive to the house. I open up the door. Gabby sees me holding a new bag and tears start falling down her eyes. She gives me a huge hug. And for the first time, I feel like I can provide safety and security to my wife and kids because I'll do anything for them, heavy, high, or far. Thank you. <laughs>